in order to do the better simulation I disconnect the motor and edit the servo to demonstrate how the throttle is going on during the simulation and the Y cable is applied just to the ESC and the new servo and I put the lens cap on and make the OSD screen more clearly I have configured this switch for the AUX1 and this for the AUX2. Let's set up the return to home. That's fail save. Let's return home. And maximum ground speed or disabled. Cruise altitude 300 feet. Set home. Return to home altitude 300 and the uh, altitude error 50 and all the rest are default. Okay, let's start the simulation. Let's select Easy Star. Okay. I'm flying. This is the throttle. You see, uh, the throttle is about middle. And I pull up. Oh, full throttle. I pull up. See the aileron. Okay, now it's about thirty four miles per hour. It's climbing. I push it climbing a little bit more. Climb to 800 feet. Flying north. It's east. Okay, now pay attention. Now it's, it's about middle. So I'm going to put the transmitter to the refrig uh, to the microwave.
Now fail safe activated. Now it's re return to home. You see the aileron is automatically adjusted. Now the throttle changed automatically. So now it should maintain about 250, between 250 and 300 feet. And coming back home. Now it says line of sight is 31. Thousand feet and coming back. The beeping is the goggles battery is getting low. Almost done, so I just let it go. The distance is about 2300, uh, 23,000 feet. You see, the altitude is maintaining between 200 and 300, and still flying home. Fifteen thousand. Ten thousand. It's configured about 500 feet diameters. Okay, now I should circle around home. Now it's flying west. It's circling. Okay, I'm going to get the transmitter out of microwave oven. Okay, I'm back in control.
Now that's my throttle. And that's my aileron. I'm flying east. I'm turning the north. Okay, the cargo run out of battery, but our demo is done.